Do you want to upgrade your suspension and brakes on the Super 73 Z1? Yeah, it feels good. It feels much smoother. Oh. <laughs> that was actually a lot more power than I thought it would be. <laughs> That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today, we're gonna check out the Super 73 Air Fork system, as well as the Shimano hydraulic brake system. So, let's get right to it. All right, we finally got it in. So, shout out to Kevin Wong for sending an extra set of air forks. He, he bought two, and I didn't wanna wait for them to come back in stock. So, shout out to Kevin Wong. He's also on the Super 73 Modders group. So, let's just open it up and see what's inside of here. Very exciting stuff, opening boxes. I'm really good at opening boxes. Why do you want an air fork? Well, an air fork is good for um, basically creating a smoother ride. They seem pretty much the weight that I would think they would be. This is where you actually add the air, where it says air. <laughs> Comes with, let's see, this little spacer here. Comes with a bolt or a fender bracket. So I think that's all we need. Weight difference is somewhat noticeable. It feels like the stock fork is actually heavier, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, let's see if I do this right. Uh, this washer goes in first, I think. <laughs> yep. And then these two. This guy, the spacer. This is the stock bolt for, um, I think the V2 Z1. It should come with a different uh, bolt for the uh, steer tube. So just keep that in mind. If you don't have this, you could probably buy this um, in the hardware store. So that's pretty much it. We installed the air forks. Not too bad, didn't take too long. Definitely need two people, at least for the beginning of the installation. Pretty simple. Okay, so we got our brakes in the mail. So these are hydraulic brakes for the Super 73 Z1. Again, I kind of found these through Kevin Wong. Shout out to Kevin Wong. <laughs> he recommended these Shimano hydraulic brakes. So why do you need hydraulic brakes? Well, from what I understand, Hydraulic brakes are better than mechanical brakes because they dissipate heat more efficiently. The fluid is doing all that work. I got them without rotors, cheaper without the rotors because uh, the Z1 comes with rotors. So, so I think I got them to uh, bike specs, which are the front brake is on the left side, the rear brake is on the right side. So this would be the front with the logo over here, and then this would be the rear. And you could tell because the rear is a longer cable because it has to go further back on the bike. Super 73 air fork installed. We pumped it up with some air. I put it up to um, 60 PSI because I'm about 130, 135-ish, <laughs> around there. <laughs> For the Shimano brake system, I put the left side controlling the front brake and then the right side controlling the rear, which is more of like the bike setup. I basically disabled the brake sensors mainly because there isn't a place to put them on the Shimano brakes. I didn't really notice a big difference um, on the brake cutoff. But yeah, let's just take it out for a ride and see how it 
see how it feels for the first time. Okay. So right away, I noticed it's a, it's a much smoother ride. I can't actually tell if it's compressing. <laughs> you notice that there's a lack of suspension on the back. So it's like really smooth, but, um, but only in the front. So the brakes feel strong. They are smoother. There's less resistance when you pull them. When I put all my weight up front, it's compressing and I lift up a little bit and it comes back up. So I think from what I remember on the, on the Super 73 Modders group, I posted the question like, how much air should I feel? What am I supposed to be feeling here? And I think it was a compression of about 30% sitting so that there's that 70% of travel when you're like, hitting bumps and stuff. So we'll take it out on the streets and I'll kind of tell you guys a little bit more about why I wanted to upgrade to hydraulic brakes and the air forks. The air forks, obviously they use air. So they don't, they don't use um, steel springs, which means that the overall weight of the bike is actually lighter. Let me take it into this, uh, this baseball diamond over here. It feels much smoother. I definitely don't feel the little bumps. I, I feel the bigger bumps, obviously. Anything that's being absorbed in the front is being transferred to the rear. So let's talk a little bit about hydraulic brakes versus mechanical brakes. It uses fluid to compress the brake pad on the rotor. With a mechanical brake, it uses a cable. Also with cables, usually they, uh, over time, you have to kind of adjust them to change the tension to make sure that your braking power uh, stays the same. So let's try out these hydraulic brakes uh, on this road right here. So I'm gonna try a quick stop. Oh. <laughs> so that was actually a lot more power than I thought it would be. <laughs> the air forks actually absorbed some of that. So they actually compressed as, I, as my body leaned forward. So that's something uh, very interesting that if you do upgrade to hydraulic brakes, make sure that you have air forks installed because it will absorb some of that energy that's being pushed forward and you don't go flying off the bike. You can modulate the amount of power that you're feeding into the brake. It's less about the tension. This is more about pushing the fluid down into the, into the brake pad. So it's a different feeling altogether. Where the hell am I? I don't know where I am. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so I can help you find tech that fits your lifestyle. I'll see you guys in the next video.